Hey you guys, how's it going? Um, so today, I guess I'll be sharing my coming out story with y'all. And I got a bad haircut, so I'm hiding it with this Christmas hat. And you know, Christmas is around the corner anyways, so it fits in. And so it begins. Um, so as a kid, you know, I was just a regular kid, um, you know, I just, I like to play video games, play outside, um, whine, cry, whatever kids do, or what, I don't know, um, play with my friends, um, go to the park or whatever, so anyway, um, you know, no, no, um, hormones raging. I didn't like boys or girls at the time, you know, just a little kid, um, living life. I guess the first thing I ever, like, discovered about, um, gay people was in my family, I guess, because I have two gay uncles, and, you know, um, you know, they just, they stood out compared to my other uncles, but I didn't think of, you know, anything of it. Um, they were just, you know, my uncles, they were family. And if that's how they wanted to be, that's how they were. I mean, I didn't ask them, I didn't, you know, I didn't even question it in my head. That's just who they were and I didn't know why. And so, you know, I've, I grew up knowing them as who they are. And until this day, I love them for who they are because that's who they are, they're gay and, you know, I mean, we have a big family and I'm sure everyone knows and we all just accept it and we love them and I've always loved them and yeah, um, that was me when I was a little kid um, growing up with two gay uncles. When I was growing up, nothing really happened in elementary school, I don't really remember anything. Um, like I said, I grew up with no hormones at all. I wasn't attracted to boys or girls. And so, I think we'll just um, skip forward to seventh grade. Because seventh grade, I took a trip to the Philippines with my mom because my cousin was celebrating her 18th birthday, um, her debut, which is like a quinceanera or sweet 16, except it's when a Filipino girl turns 18, so I was a part of her um, little court thing. So we left in October, I think. Yeah, October, my seventh grade year. And so I remember my trip, and it was um, it was cool because I got to be back home for the second time in like how many years. And so anyway. Um, there's a lot of gay people in the Philippines and, you know, it's, it's normal there. And I guess, um, they're more accepting there too. So anyway, I remember the first, um, I guess experience, not really experience, but like encounter, there you go, encounter, um, public encounter, I guess. Um, I was at... A hair salon I think a hair salon yeah and I got a haircut and then after that the guy thought I was cute or something and you know he's trying to talk to me and I was just like in seventh grade I don't even know how old I was like I don't know 13 no third yeah maybe 13 I get 13 14 something around there I don't know but yeah um <laughs> it was funny because I was I was still little and I didn't know what he was doing and so it was funny because I just I was scared and my cousin the birthday girl was um, with me and she was like go say hi go say hi and then I was just like mm. and I was so shy and I just put my head down and <laughs> walked away but 
poor guy. He missed out. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I don't even remember how old he was. He probably was like 19, 20 during the time. So if you're watching this, hey, how you doing? I'm grown up now. <laughs> Just kidding. That was my first public encounter, I guess, an experience with a gay person. And it's so weird because after my trip, when I came back here to the States, um, it was in, we stayed there for like three weeks. So it was like October to November. So we came back November and I remember um, going into band class because I was in band and there was a person who would leave me notes in my locker, my band locker. And it would be, you know, um, really nice notes, really sweet notes, you know, like, hey, how you doing, you know, um, I've noticed you around, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, it, to me, you know, it was, it was nice. I mean, it was like, oh, hey, you know, someone has a crush on me. But, you know, I never told anyone. And so, you know, it was weird because, like, I was in seventh grade. And my middle school was sixth, sixth grade to, to eighth grade. So there were eighth graders um, talking to me, telling me about stuff, telling me like, oh, there's our friend, um, our friend likes you and stuff like that. And I was just like, oh, okay. And you know, at the time they didn't tell me it was a guy. So I didn't know. And so, you know, the notes kept on, you know, um, appearing in my locker, and I just didn't know who it was. I obviously knew why, but I didn't know who it was, and I didn't know how long this person was gonna do it before I discovered who they were. <laughs> so I remember one day after band class, I walked out, and the eighth graders were standing out there waiting for me, and then they there were three of them I think and I just walked out the door and they came um, not really running but they were walking pretty fast and they like cordon cornered me and they were like hey can we ask you something and I was just like okay sure and then they were like are you gay and then me like not knowing anything was like no no I'm not and so their immediate reaction w was like, <laughs> you're right. And then like they started laughing and they walked away and I was just like confused. Cause like, I mean, okay, um, am I supposed to be gay? I mean, is there something I'm not getting, you know? Did I miss the memo or something? And. You know, um, it was a really weird day because I was just so confused and I didn't know what was happening.